Good morning. This is day three of our Upper Peninsula Shakedown. We spent the first couple of days hightailing it up to Alpena, Michigan. In three days, we put on about 1,600 miles on the RV, going from Ocala to Alpena. Each day was long, but we made it here. And the thing is, is that the RV is very comfortable for the long drives. The first day, we intended to only drive about six or seven hours, but because of Atlanta traffic, um, it took us about 10 hours to get to our first overnight location. The first overnight was a hip camp, and it was called Quiet in the Country. But it was more like a dump in the country. The host was very nice. However, hip camp gave us the wrong address, and he was located across the street from the first house that we pulled into. He came running across the street and guided us back to his house. However, when he told us where to park, we found out that even though we had requested full hookups, he didn't have any full hookup sites available. In addition, the place was pretty much a dump and the site was very, very, very unlevel where he told us to park. So that's strike one for hip camp. In fact, we were so pissed off, we ended up packing up at 6 a.m. and driving over to the nearest truck stop and having our coffee and breakfast. And about 35 feet coming up. Eelsie, thank you. Rory McElroy has just arrived at the course. Got plenty of work to do, a little bit to tidy that up. Got a part oh, on the really? and he finished in a round of... As we made our way to our next stop, we stopped at Joella's Fried Chicken in Lexington, Kentucky. What is amazing is how easy it is to drive this rig through a downtown area and to park it in a small parking lot. It's perfectly in a little teeny parking lot. <laughs> At Joella's, we both had the tweener chicken, although we think we could have made it through the hot chicken pretty easily. How is it, Janetta? It's good. Good, all right. The second day, we had about a six hour drive and we stayed at a harvest host called the Benton Family Agricultural Center. It was pretty nice. However, upon arrival, there was a sign telling us to text when we arrived and somebody would meet us. Well, when we texted, nobody responded. We drove around the property for a little bit trying to find somebody. We couldn't find anybody. Finally, after about 20, 30 minutes, the woman called us back and told us where to park. This site was pretty level. The place was quiet. There was one other RV that pulled in about nine o'clock, but there were no issues. We had a good night's sleep, and we went into our longest day going from the border of Kentucky and Ohio all the way up to Alpena, Michigan. You will have reached oh, your destination. You didn't realize we were that close. <laughs> Neither did I. Uh, and then he'd go back to our gates and then he'd. Hey, Mercedes. Down the street. How may I help you? Cancel navigation. GT. I presume you know there was an awful lot to four years, but. What really happened, I wouldn't get, be able to get that fix that I was hoping to get from that future career, that future career that I had.
In Alpena, we stocked up on provisions at the local Walmart. And we took a drive through the city. In Alpena, there is also another Harvest Host called the Nowiki's Sausage Shop. We decided not to stay there because we thought we would need electric, but it probably would have been okay. We did stop by and we picked up some broadwurst, which I will grill in a later episode. For the most part, we just relaxed in Alpena for a few days while we recoup from our long journey north. Tomorrow, we'll be making our way into the Upper Peninsula for the first time. We'll see you in next week's video.